Hello guys, it is Laughing Games here, and today we are going to be doing some more Minecraft Feed the Beast or Tech It, whatever you want to call it. We are going to be doing the Industrial Craft Nuclear Reactor tutorials. Now, I've been doing a lot with nuclear reactors lately, so I figure I'll bring some knowledge to you guys and teach you how to create some basic nuclear reactors for with simple setups. Now, Nuclear reactors is just a simple box like this. I'm not going to show the crafting for it or the power setup. I'm just going to show you how to create it. Not None of the wiring or anything, just the layouts. Now, in a nuclear reactor, uranium generates heat and heat vents get rid of that heat or other cooling methods. Now, I'm going to show you nuclear reactors that don't need to be advanced done. Just basically fill it up and it's good to go. So with this you're going to want to create something called a heat vent I'm not going to show you all the crafting things oops we're not on crafting mode now they're, the first one's pretty simple refined iron and iron bars yada 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 all that stuff now as long as you have a heat vent beside a uranium piece you're going to create one million power per piece of uranium now it might take a while but I'll show you how effective it is flick that on it's going to start making power and look out quick that's going up and all it's going to take is one easy to find piece of uranium which is put into a cell I'll just quickly show you that uranium which is just made out of cooking ore and then the cell it's made out of putting a piece of cooked uranium with uh, empty cell now I'm not going to show you all the guys cr all the crafting once again so I might do a very basic nuclear reactor tutorial in the future, so subscribe, and I'll show you guys that. Now, so that's a basic one. This is like the bare bones of reactor, low power of creation compared to other reactors. Now, we're going to move on. We need a lever here for this one. So, with uranium and nuclear reactors, you're going to want to create extra power by having two uranium together because that doubles the heat causing more reactions but more heat equals more heat vents needed so we're going to flick this on and you're going to see that it's creating more power than the other one and it's taking twice as much uranium but you're not saying oh I'm just putting in more uranium for more power you're putting in more u twice the uranium for four times the power because when two pieces of uranium are put together it doubles their efficiency making each piece of uranium give you two million power so that's a pretty good deal compared to the one million for one uranium now we're moving on to a more advanced reactor which just requires some more advanced heat components now I'll show you these let's just show you so it requires an overclocked heat vent which their purpose is to remove heat just from anywhere in the reactor now there's advanced heat vents which are just an upgraded heat vent and they're a little bit e harder to make but still definitely worth it now this is three uranium and since more of it's together it's going to create more reactions so more power now three uranium is going to give you seven million power at two point three 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 repeating for each piece of uranium so it's more effective than the two million for each piece of uranium in this reactor so we're going to flick that on. You might notice it's going just a bit faster. Not too much at the moment compared to the other one. But still, it's a better bang for your buck, definitely. Now, this next one is the most advanced reactor I've found out that you can make with just the simple reactor without any additional add-ons. Now, this is just going to be a line of uranium filling up the entire thing. Six uranium six advanced heat vents and four overclocked heat vents. This will give you 2.6 million power per uranium from them all being connected and that is 16 million power in total for six uranium compared to what it would take in this reactor is 16 uranium for 16 million power so it's definitely worth it. Now I'll flick that on you'll see how fast this is going to go up when you compare it to something like this it's definitely a lot faster now, we're done with the basic row of nuclear reactors. You guys might want to take a moment to reflect on this. I'm not going to be showing you the crafting. I'm just going to be showing you the layouts. And let me make this clear. All nuclear reactor layouts will be in the description. Okay. Now, 
we are going to be moving on to a nuclear reactor with an additional box. Now these additional boxes allow for more space, so more uranium and more cooling can be put in, making your reactor much more effective. Now this one is going to take 8 uranium for 20 million power and 2.5 million power per piece of uranium. It's going to take some advanced heat vents and a heat exchanger, which is actually... Uh, let me find it. There it is. So not too hard to make either, but I'm not going to be going over the crafting. It should be included in your not enough items if you have it, which just shows you recipes for things. Now this little, so this is a pretty good deal. We'll flip it on. It's going to be a little bit quicker than that one, but you do need the extra nuclear reactor add-on. Now this one, this one is a really good deal. It takes two add-ons, which are not actually that hard to make, but it takes six uranium, unlike this one, which takes eight and it generates the exact same amount of power because of the, taking advantage of the extra space. Now, for this one, it's just going to take some heat vents and upgraded component heat vents. So basically, pretty simple, just like this one almost. But it's going to give you as much power as one using two more uranium. So that's giving you quite a better percentage, like 20% more power. Now this one, sadly, with three uranium, sadly with three extra reactor things on, I couldn't make anything better than what it currently is with two, so we're just going to skip the third one. Now this one, this one's a pretty good deal. 28 million power for eight uranium, compared to this one, which is 20 million power for eight uranium. It's just eight uranium put together in two lines of four, it takes a bit of cooling, quite a bit more cooling, advanced heat exchangers, so this is a little bit more costly to make, but it is a good bang for your buck, so we'll turn that on. And look at that power compared to this one. Pretty good deal, I'd say. Now, this one, once again, sadly, there's not much of a difference between four and five for space, so I couldn't create anything better than the fourth one setup, so we're going to be skipping five. Now on to the best one. This one is the best bang for your buck. This one's going to give you a whop. It's going to take 9 uranium, and it's going to give you a whopping 33 million power compared to the 28 million. So that's 5 million more for one more uranium. So that's a good deal. S one thing I've been noticing is when I try to open something, it'll automatically put it into my inventory. So we could have catastrophes if that keeps on happening. Okay, so, 3.67 million power per piece of uranium. Really, really good deal. Best bang for your buck with max add-ons, which are just the extra reactor things. Now, this video has just been covering the single rod uranium. There is actually more uranium rods, like dual and quad. They, they're obviously going to give you more power, but they're a little bit harder to make. So we're going to leave that out, and we're going to show you how much power this one can create compared to that one. It is not much more, like, it takes more uranium, but in the long run it generates you a lot more power. Like 3.6 times the amount of power compared to that one. So it's worth it. Now, thanks for watching, guys. All the links, let me make this clear, all the links are going to be in the description for this video. Thanks for watching. All the let me put this again. All the links for how to create these basic reactors will be in the description. So, and I'll make sure to put a little an annotation and these in the vid in the link. And if I don't, remind me in the comments, please, because I'm not the best at remembering stuff, particularly when it's 2:30 in the morning. So, thanks for watching. And now I'm actually going to show you guys. If we have a little extra time, I'd say. So we're going to take some of the uranium out of this reactor. And I'll show you what happens when your reactor goes wrong. We're just going to need a reactor, some chambers. Okay. Now, these poor, poor Squidward people, or villagers I noticed over here, are going to be uh, an example for what happens when a nuclear reactor goes wrong. So say, this crazy guy... He's got a nuclear reactor in his basement, his neighbors don't know about it. He's a crazy guy. 
He's got a lot of uranium in his react in his reactor. He's not cooling it properly, aren't you? So this is going to go on, and it's going to go critical, of course. Now you're going to see how big of an explosion and how much damage these can do. Hmm. Well, we should see some smoke coming out in a second. I know I'm going to go. Oh, run, Squidward, run! I hope I turned that on right. Oh, see, we're getting smoke. So this is what happens if you don't properly cool a reactor. People are getting hurt that go near it. That's the first step, radiation poisoning. Poor squid, poor blacksmith, run. Run while you still can. And now fire's gonna eventually start to erupt and the reactor will go off. Now, I believe the basic radius is about the equivalent for a reactor is about 20 pieces of TNT. So you don't want that going off in your houses. All the squidwards have now have radiation poisoning. I'm so sorry guys. But thank you for being a test subject. And once again, I'm going to say this. Thanks for watching. Like and favorite the video. And I shall see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe because I'll be covering more Feed the Beast and more reactors and such. So goodbye.